What's up guys, Autumn196 here. Uh, I know I'm making a late video. It's the day after the game. I apologize. Uh, it's the best I could do. I'm sorry. We're going to have to you know, deal with it. Hopefully next week I can do it right after the game, just like I did week one. But in, you know, I don't want to waste my time with that. Let's talk about the game. And really, this is going to be a video mainly talking about the Raiders defense. Um, I think our offense, I do think there's problems with our offense, not with the players or anything like that. Bill Musgrave has some questionable play calling. I think the guy is way too conservative. You know, it's so predictable, the screens and these draws that never seem to work. They barely work, yet he does them anyway. He does them all the time. You know what, Raiders fans, we... Uh, we say a lot about Bill Musgrave, myself included, and I'm going to leave him out of this one. You know, he was doing the same stuff like he always does, being conservative and predictable, and then late in the game when we have to score points, he finally, you know, let go a little bit and let this uh, offense do what it needed to do, which is move the ball, throw the ball down the field, and uh, score points. So, you know, that's what we do. We do it late in games, and... Uh, it's it's getting annoying, but whatever. The main issue with this game is our defense. It was the main issue in week one. And you know what? In the preseason, when our defense looked really bad, everybody was saying, well, calm down. It's only preseason. And I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. It is just preseason, you know. But uh, now we have two weeks into the regular season of really bad defense all around. I mean, uh, you know, you can blame the secondary, you can blame the defensive line, the linebackers. None of them are playing good at all. And it's historically already one of the worst defenses ever. Now, granted, it's only two weeks in. We're on that pace. I don't think we're going to end the season as the worst defense of all time. I don't think that. But we've given up 1,000 yards already, over 800 yards passing, uh, seven touchdowns, only one interception. This pass rush that we thought was going to be great isn't great. Khalil Mack has been MIA the first two weeks. I've seen nothing from him. He is getting double teamed and triple teamed, okay? But that should open things up for guys like Bruce Irvin. He's only got one sack. Uh, the middle of that defensive line is soft. They're getting pushed around. They're falling all over the place. The linebackers can't cover tight ends at all. The Falcons had a simple game plan, okay? Play action. Give it to the tight end. Feed the tight end. We can't cover him. Ben Heaney can't cover. Malcolm Smith can't cover. Uh, the secondary, Sean Smith. I, I understand it's Julio Jones. He got destroyed again. Sean Smith hasn't been good at all. We have DJ Hayden on the field. For some reason, I don't understand. Um, you know, we, We're not playing Carl Joseph. Keith McGill was the worst player on the field on Sunday. Keith McGill was awful. We g gave him a lot of playing time. Um, Reggie Nelson led the team in tackles. Your free safety should not lead your team in tackles. That means your defense is bad because that means the last line of defense is the one who has to clean up plays. And now I think Reggie Nelson is a good player. I don't think he's being used the right way because he's having to be a tackler. He's having to clean stuff up. He's a ball hawk. You know, he wasn't doing this with the Bengals, you know, because the rest, the rest of that defense was doing what they were supposed to. We're not. Now, I kind of right now I equally blame both Ken Norton Jr. and the players because I don't think this game plan is going to work. You know, Ken Norton, you're not in Seattle anymore, dude. This isn't the Seahawks. This isn't the Legion of Boom you got back there where you can play the type of defense you want. You're going to have to adjust, and he has made no adjustments that I've seen. Jack Del Rio had to take over the play calling late into the game, and I'm not saying fire Ken Norton right now, but he's on the hot seat for sure because this defense can't – we can't allow this defense to be the worst in the NFL every single week. Changes have to be made. So, you know, Derek Carr had a good game, three touchdowns, 300 yards. Latavius Murray, I thought he had a really good game. He was limited. You know, Richard and uh, Washington got some got some snaps. Uh, they played well. The running game was good. And uh, Amari Cooper was pushed out by Desmond Trufant. He did not step out. That's a stupid call. I don't like that. I was dumb. Should have been a touchdown. Um, Marquette King saved a touchdown. He had some really nice punts. And I can't say anything good about the defense. David Amerson got an interception in the red zone. We made Matt Ryan turn into Matty Ice, and we sucked defensively. We gave up 35 points again. Um, 
it's ridiculous. Uh, I, you know, I don't know what to say. It's just an awful defense. If changes aren't made soon, people are going to be getting fired and people are going to be getting cut and benched and all sorts of stuff. We have to be better. When we play the Titans next week, Marcus Mariota is a mobile quarterback. This defense loves to get fooled from play action. Every single time, our linebackers are biting on it, so they are going to run the play action. They're going to run it down our throats. They're going to throw it all over the field, the Laney Walker, unless we make adjustments. I don't want to see Heaney. I want to see Corey James. I don't want to see Keith McGill. I want to see Carl Joseph uh, take DJ Hayden off the field, put in TJ Carey, mix it up. Mix up the players, mix up the play calling. The scheme is not working. You know, we need to do something different, and uh, hopefully that will help us out a little bit. But, yes, the defense is atrocious. It's awful. It's the worst in the NFL. We need to do better. I expect better from this team. Nobody thought this team would be, you know, a horrible defense. But that's what we got to do. So, you know, that's all I have to say. Hopefully we can go on the road and beat the Titans next week in week three. Thank you guys for watching Raider Nation. I will see you guys next week after the Titans game. Peace.